what's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What do you think is the best size for a city? I already made videos about top 10 best big cities. But big cities aren't for everyone. And soon I'm gonna make videos about small cities. But small cities aren't for everyone either. Maybe you like things somewhere in between. If so, this is the perfect list for you. The following cities aren't so big that everything is just too crowded, but they aren't also so small that you can try everything there is to do in a weekend. Now, there is no real way to determine if the city is big or not. So, the basic criteria I'm using is a small city has a metro population between 500,000 to 1.5 million residents, a medium-sized city has a metro population between 1.5 to 3 million, and then big cities have a metro population above 3 million. I ranked these cities according to their economy, safety, cost of living, schools, amenities, and quality of life, among other things. So let's do this. These are top 10 best medium-sized cities to live in the US, part 1. Number 10. Virginia Beach, Virginia. The most populated city in Virginia is also one of the best. Despite the nearly 2 million residents live in the area and 19 million tourists who visit each summer, it still kinda has that small town feel due to all the suburban sprawl and lack of a true downtown. But maybe that small town vibe is the reason it's one of the safest cities in the country. This makes it a great place to for families, especially in the summertime. I mean, it's on the beach. Speaking of which, a lot of the economy here is based on tourism, so there are tons to do, from surfing to fishing to kayaking to water skiing, golfing, volleyball, and more. Aside of the summer, though, things can get a little boring and cold. But hey, at least there is an excellent education system consisting some of the best schools in the nation to keep the kids busy. And it's never too cold since the city is insulated by the ocean. Considering the low crime, great schools and beautiful scenery, Virginia Beach isn't terribly expensive either. Especially for being in Virginia. The median home value is still just $281,000. And there are tons of good paying jobs. Number 9. Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas is one of the fastest growing regions of the country with a consistent 2% growth rate in the metro area year after year. And for good reason. It's affordable, there is a great weather with over 300 sunny days, and world-class food and entertainment is everywhere. Despite some obvious things like strip, there is tons to do in downtown, the hip art district and some beautiful nature nearby. Now Vegas obviously knows how to party but with its nearly non-stop nightlife. But surprisingly, it also knows how to work. The city continues to prosper with an increasingly diverse economy between the local businesses, tourism, and the growing effort to bring corporate headquarters to the city. Other than these top jobs, though, wages still aren't the best for most of the workforce with a median household income of just $57,000. The good news is there is no state income tax, and you can get by pretty cheap. There are a lot of nice homes in that $200,000 to $250,000 range. The main con that's keeping Vegas from being higher on this list is just that it's so spread out. So, you're gonna need to drive to live here. Oh, 
and the public schools are also one of the worst. Number 8. Orlando, Florida. Another warm city, another tourist destination, and another one of the fastest growing cities in America. But just like Vegas is a lot more than a strip, Orlando is so much more than a Disney World. Oh, and there is no state income tax either. The city has so many inter entertainment options that other mid-sized cities don't because it's a huge tourist destination. In fact, it's the most visited city in the US. In addition, all the theme parks, green spaces, museums, nightlife, and great restaurant options, Orlando also has an NBA and MLS team. And Tampa is only a little over an hour away, as well as the beach. And to top it all off, the unemployment rate here is just 3%. But to be fair, a lot of jobs here are tourism jobs, so similar to Vegas, wages still aren't the best. The cost of living isn't too expensive though, with a median home price of just $259,000. And if you do buy a house, you don't really need to worry about getting destroyed by a hurricane, since Orlando is 50 miles inland. But just like every city so far on this list, you're gonna need a car to live here. Number 7. Columbus, Ohio. Our first Midwest city on this list is actually growing really fast. Which might come as a surprise though, considering that the state is struggling. Unlike other cities in Ohio, however, Columbus is a boomtown with one of the fastest growing economies in the nation. In fact, it was recently ranked as one of the top 10 best cities for young professionals. I mean, it makes sense. Ohio's capital is one of the most upcoming cities in America while still remaining incredibly affordable between the growing tech scene and amazing job opportunities in education, insurance, aviation, banking, energy, healthcare, and medical research, the median household income here is nearly $64,000. What makes it even better, though, is an extremely low cost of living with a median home price of just $171,000. This is really a city where you can get a lot of bang for your buck. And it's an excellent place to raise a family with great schools, friendly residents, and towns to do in each of the unique neighborhoods and nature preserves. The main downsides are the frigid winters and the fact that, yep, you guessed it, you need a car due to the lack of good public transportation. Number 6. Charlotte, North Carolina. Ah, yet another Sunbelt city. Joining Orlando and Las Vegas, Charlotte is another one of the fastest growing regions of the country. In fact, it'll probably be a real big city in just a few years. A big reason for this is the jobs. Charlotte's economy is currently booming, as it's the second largest banking center in the US, as well as home for eight Fortune 500 companies, a solid manufacturing and automotive industry, and a growing tech and startup scene. And the cost of living is still really affordable with a median home price of just $251,000. Now, the Queen City is a little culturally bland outside of uptown and the surrounding areas, but there is still a fair amount to do with cool museums, thriving nightlife, great restaurants and major airport, plenty of events and concerts, and NBA and NFL teams. Not to mention the amazing weather and overall cleanliness of the city. 
but you're gonna need a car. I'm really starting to see a pattern. A lot of mid-sized cities just don't have to, just don't seem to have a good public transportation. Charlotte is no exception. All right, so this was the first part of this list. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon, guys. Peace out and goodbye.